So I've lived in San Diego for over 35 years and I've been to the San Diego Zoo more than, more than 30 times. I mean, at least two, three times a year. And they have, uh, recently I went there in 2023 and they have added some serious uh, new uh, facilities and new exhibits, not to mention new animals which is really worth going again. So you're never going to get sick and tired of it. No matter how many times you go there, you'll be surprised with either a new animal, a new attraction, a new exhibit, and what have you. So this is a just a sample footage of some of the uh, renovations and animals that they have added. I hope you enjoy it. The San Diego Zoo was founded by Harry M. Witchforth on January 1st, 1916. The San Diego Zoo is 100 acres large and this whole area is full of lush vegetation and beautiful valleys. There are 4,000 animals representing 800 different species in San Diego Zoo and 3,700 of these animals are endangered or critically endangered species. As you know, this is the California condor, which was also an endangered species, but they are recovering thanks to the uh, efforts of the San Diego Zoo and San Diego Zoological Society. These are penguins, and the, the peacock is just roaming around freely. This is one of the three cheetahs that you can see in San Diego Zoo. We went there in the mid uh, summer, actually it wasn't quite summer, it was, it was springtime, so it wasn't that hot. The cheetahs were outside and playing. Normally they go in the shade when it's very hot. And look at those whiskers. These cheetahs, I'm using a very high definition 4K camera, so you can see every single detail uh, of these magnificent creatures. Uh, the San Diego che Zoo cheetah is friends with a dog uh, which sometimes are in the same cage. So it's very strange to see a cheetah together with a dog. These are the flamingos. There are two different uh, um, exhibits for the flamingo. One is right next to the cheetahs but then there's a bigger one in, in the main entrance as you enter the park. And flamingos, believe it or not, they are pink not because of uh, their natural color. They are pink because of the type of food, a type of shrimp and, and worm that they eat in the wild. And that gives them their skin color, uh, a pink color. Now one thing was really surprising to me is that uh, flamingos are very fragile and weak birds. They cannot fight against eagles and other birds of prey. And it is surprising to me that these uh, flamingos are not being attacked by uh, the California native hawks and eagles. This is a donkey and uh, this, these are giraffes. They have like uh, four or five giraffes and that little giraffe that you see right there, it, it was born in the San Diego Zoo. And they also have multiple giraffes in the San Diego Wild Animal Park which you can also visit. Also keep in mind that if you are interested, you could feed the giraffes here. On the left side of the gi uh, giraffe cage, there's feeding areas and they have dedicated times that you can go and purchase a bowl of meal and feed the giraffes. The same is true with the San Diego Wild Animal Park giraffes. This is Baboon. Baboon is a monkey with the head of a dog. Uh, so that's uh, how I look at it basically because uh, if you look at them they, their nose shape of their nose is like a like a canine but they're actually monkeys uh, baboons are very dangerous animals they have canines they can actually attack you so be careful don't get too close to the enclosure actually the enclosures are designed in a way so they can't attack uh, you know visitors but they are very interesting creatures they, they live in families they live together as you can see, they have that sprinkler running because it's very hot right now. And this guy is trying to, you know, fish out some kind of a food or something for, for itself. <coughs> They're very, very interesting creatures. And uh, as you can see, um, they're sitting in the hot... Uh, the, the, the male is the, 
uh, alpha male, or I should say the, the top of the food chain is this guy who's sitting on the very top rock. Uh, their enclosure is very big. By the way, this enclosure was recently added uh, to the San Diego Zoo. Mm, it, it's uh, one of the newest enclosures, uh, which is in the uh, African Safari Walk section. This is another type of uh, monkey. That The chest of this monkey is all red. and I, From this shot, you can't see it, but... Uh, it's actually red. There you go. You see it under the neck there. That's. It's a very, very nice, uh, like brown and blonde monkey. Very good looking monkey. And uh, yeah, there are a whole bunch of these guys there too. Feeding off of the grass and feeding off of the things that they feed them. And uh, they seem to be happy. There's a very, very large enclosure for these guys. Now this is a bird cage that you walk into. And as you walk in, you can actually, uh, you know, uh, take pictures of the birds without any uh, fence in between. So all these uh, pictures that you see are of the birds directly with no glass, no fence, nothing. That's why the quality is so good because uh, there is nothing in between. And you can actually see like hundreds of birds flying around as you walk by. And uh, there's not only one walk-in cage, there's so many different walk-in cages there. This is a jaguar. <clears throat> a jaguar. Wait a minute. No, this is not a jaguar. This is a leopard. This is not a jaguar. My, my apologies. Uh, a leopard is one of the strongest uh, cats uh, by weight. In other words, if you, if you put the strength by, uh, compared to, to its weight, it's one of the strongest cats in the animal kingdom. And this jaguar is just going around. I believe this is a lonely jaguar. It doesn't have a mate or anything. That's why it's just going around. This is another walk-in birdcage that we, we went to. And in this birdcage, birds even have nests. As you notice, there are all kinds of nests on these trees. And these are the list of the birds that are in there. You can read those. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. And that's also a part of the birds in that uh, facility, the walk-in cage. Um, it's a beautiful zoo. I, I definitely recommend visiting San Diego Zoo. It's uh, These are all the birds in the second cage that, that were included in the second cage. <clears throat> this is a lima. Uh, lima, there are different kinds of lima. Lemur, not lima. Le lima is the capital of Peru. Uh, this is lemur and they're diff they come from Madagascar. Lemurs come from Madagascar. Uh, these waterfalls are new recently added. And they have all kinds of shows in the San Diego Zoo uh, that you can go watch. Uh, these are penguins again. You've seen them uh, before. And this is from a different angle. They have all kinds of sharks here. This is the one you're looking at right now. It's called uh, the tiger shark. Mm, and uh, they have uh, different types of sharks there. Uh, the tiger sharks usually, uh, they, they go in pairs uh, usually. <coughs> They're even though they are solitary animals, but sometimes they go, there you go, they're going in pairs. <clears throat> the, this bird was like, like a lonely bird, so I just, you know, took a picture to, so you could see what it's like. These are some other kinds of monkeys. Uh, their heads were so small. Uh, this is some kind of a grizzly bear, a brown bear, or something like that. Uh, I don't think it's a grizzly bear. I think it's a brown bear. <coughs> and... Uh, they have multiple bears. They, they, you know, the good thing about San Diego Zoo is that you can see the anim animals up close. You could see the animals very, very easily. Now, uh, this enclosure is very safe, even though the bear appears to be very close to the viewers. Uh, but they're, they're very safe. They, there's no way they can jump on the side. Look at those claws. Those are like two, three inch long claws. Imagine being attacked by this. It's, it's unbelievable. It's so powerful. This animal is huge. You have to see it in person to understand and appreciate its, its strength and, uh, and the size and the magnitude. <clears throat> it's uh, sniffing the wood because a few minutes earlier, another bear uh, did markings on that uh, piece of wood. Bears do markings to claim their territory, and that's why the other bears will sniff uh, those to find to basically find out if uh, the female is in heat and whatnot. 
right now it's digging the ground to see if he can find some termites to feast on. Termites are like a delicacy when it comes to the bears. They really like it. And by the way, these bears love lettuce, believe it or not. And they were feeding them Californian lettuce and the bear was munching on that lettuce much better than us munching on salads. So it really enjoyed its lettuce meal. Okay, these are called sloth bears. That is S-L-O-T-H. Sloth bears, they're native to India <clears throat> and they're listed an endangered species because of habitat loss, hunting, and uh, capture, and all that. And uh, they mainly survive on fruits and vegetables. And uh, they, in San Diego Zoo, I believe they have two or three of these uh, sloth bears. Sadly, uh, some of these are being captured by humans to do different types, types of acrobatic performances and whatnot. So they, they are not only endangered because of habitat loss, they're also endangered because uh, they can be tamed and uh, trained so they can do all kinds of little tricks. And if you, if, you, if you go on YouTube, you could see sloth bear performances in like Asian countries. You will see them. But they are magnificent and they're really worth watching in person. Uh, these are uh, the little go-karts that you can, uh, you know, go and watch San Balboa Park from there. You can watch the entire San Diego. You can see the entire San Diego city from there. They're very nice. And they're free once you enter the park. There's no additional fees for that. And this is all the scenery and the view of the, of the zoo that you can look from up above when you're sitting on one of these chair lifts or, you know, high elevation carts. This is an anteater followed by mountain lion. Now this mountain lion is California native. This is the one that sometimes and people uh, spot them right and left and and they put their image videos and images on next door. But yeah, this is this is a mountain lion California native. They have two of them in the same um, enclosure. Uh, now I don't know how come they don't fight because they are very very ter territorial. So they must be male and female that they don't fight, but there are two of these magnificent cre creatures in the same enclosure. And we got lucky because they usually are asleep and they, they don't come. These are the, uh, you know, bones of different era dinosaurs and whatnot that were found. So you can also see dinosaur bones there. Some of these bo bones are plastic replicas, some are original. This is the lion, this is the female lion. And um, the, the lions usually sleep during the day and they wake at night because they're noc nocturnal. We got lucky that the lion was up in the wake. However, if you notice, if as I zoom out, if you lo look above, there's a little platform uh, right there. And that's the male lion. It's asleep. Now, the ma male lion, the, the thong was sticking out when it was sleeping. That was I found that really strange because uh, <clears throat> why would an animal leave its thong sticking out. I haven't seen any animal leave its thong sticking out sleeping and this was kind of weird to see. Look at those claws. The claws of all cat family, um, all of them, including house cats, as you know, people who own cats, they know, uh, that they're retractable. They go in and they have the control to retract it and pull it out. So these, uh, the, the claws are under normal conditions the claws are in, you don't even see them. But when they attack, they can retract them and they extend two inches long. And there is a, the, the male lion with the tongue sticking out. And I don't know what kind of a horror he, he, he went through uh, that made him, you know, like that, you know, s fall asleep in that manner that normally no creature would ever sleep. Where, on the other hand, the female is, you know, awake and checking out the people and it's not sleepy at all. Okay, so this is the jaguar. B earlier I confused the leopard, but this is the real jaguar. It was asleep. Now, for some reason, I, the reason for this shot is to show you the Balboa Park Tower. You can see it from the zoo, and you can even see it from those chairlifts up. Uh, now, uh, those carts are stopped for some reason, and usually they only uh, stop the carts when there's an emergency, If if you know, if someone is uh, 
like swinging the cart they stop it or something like that so I don't know what the reason is but the carts uh, are stopped right now by the way you can see the planes landing in the San Diego airport um, like this Southwest Airline uh, plane you could clearly see it from the San Diego Zoo if you are a aero aeronautical enthusiast it's a, it's a great place for you uh, another bird enclosure uh, this some kind they look like house pigeons but they, they are you know they're way way complicated than, than a normal house pigeon um, there's a squirrel running around and this is another indoor ex enclosure walk-in enclosure with a little yellow bird in it and let's see these birds are, are taking dirt bath now the dirt bath is where water is not available look at those monkeys black and white hair they're so beautiful I just had to uh, shoot these with a close-up uh, camera with a high definition zoom uh, so that you can see better because uh, this is not some something usual this very unusual type of a monkey that uh, they have a they have they have quite a bit of exotic animals there uh, now that is my beautiful wife uh, yeah, I had to have a human there too, right? Anyway, so this is uh, flamingos in the entrance. Now, something about flamingos. Flamingos are the stinkiest animal as far as odor. When you come close to the flamingo enclosure, it's the odor is so strong that you can't even stay there long enough to watch them. They're very, very full of odor. I don't know what kind of a, uh, you know, chemical produces that odor but it's it's very strong it's very strong I don't know and these birds are very interesting because they have the beak of an eagle but they have uh, you know the characteristic long legs like a, like a duck so I don't know what the story is with that with those birds but it was it was very interesting uh, make sure to visit San Diego so it's such such a beautiful place they have all kinds of shows all kinds of animals different restaurants different types of food gift shops it's a tourist attraction it's a must see if you're coming to San Diego San Diego Zoo is a must see and not to mention the wild animal park now this big statue of a lion is in the entrance where the entrance of San Diego Zoo is and you have a big statue of the lion where you could also take pictures right next to it anyways uh, thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so you get notified when I make new videos. All right, thank you. It was really worth watching, wasn't it? Make sure to visit the San Diego Zoo to support them because they are helping endangered species. Thank you.